Hey guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel and I am here with an update for the Cats and Dogs Project Pan. Actually, it's called It's Pan and Cats and Dogs. This is a fantastic ladies collab and it was created by Deb. Her channel's name is Deb B and Danny from Danny's Makeup. This project ran from or runs from October 22nd of this year to October 22nd of next year and I love this project. I did not update it last month so you're getting a two month update from me so and it's pretty exciting if I do say so myself so let's get into how I did for this update I'm really excited because the first one is a rollout. I had in for Agility, a product that requires practice to use. This is credit to Taru at Cruelty Free Panner. I knew that. Um, and I brought in my unique liner in the shade Purposeful and you can see that this is done. I cannot sharpen it anymore. Let's even see if I can get a swatch, kind of. It was a beautiful purple color. I really enjoyed it. It looks like a bruise. I really enjoyed it but it's done, it's over, and I'm not mad at that. Yay, one rollout. For balls or toys, something that always rolls away, I rolled in the ColourPop liner, and this is in the shade Another Round, and this is getting shorter as well. This went down from 7.8 centimeters to 6.8, so it went down a whole centimeter. I've been using the heck out of this at work. It's been a really nice liner just to put on and then um, go on with my day and then put like a, a gloss over it or something. It's been a really nice product for that. So this is staying in, but it will be an empty by the end of this project, I know it. Okay, so for Beagle Scent Hound, um, a scented item. I pulled in my Alice Brooklyn travel, this is a travel size spray um, in the scent Sweet. I love this. Jen was wearing this in Vegas and I was like, I have to have it. So I went and bought it. And every time I wear this, it reminds me of her. It's a really nice scent memory. It reminds me of our time in Vegas. I miss you, Jen. And um, I made some good progress on this. I am panning some other perfumes. So I'm like sharing the wealth. So it's being used and I'm really enjoying it. I'm trying not to use it too much though, because I would like to... Um, it a little bit longer. For best of breed, tell us about your pet, past or present. Doesn't have to be a dog or a cat. Well, I love my Rosie and she is a gripper. She grips to me. She is always with me. And I decided to put in this project because of that and also because it is a like a really loyal product for me. It works and I know I can use it. And so I pulled in the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I was able to go from all the way up there to down there. This went from 28.52 grams to 23.44. So I made some really good progress with this. I mean, this will definitely be done within this project. Um, I'm just not sure when. I mean, there is some product that's like up, up in here, but it's very thin. I mean, you can't even see the color, but you can see like the bubble and stuff there up there. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to keep using it. I like it and I'm not mad that I still have to use it. Bijan Frise, that's Rosie, a hypoallergenic um, dog. It's a clean makeup or skincare brand. I don't really like subscribe to that theory, but this is the brand Well People, and they say they're a clean beauty brand. This is the Supernatural Multi-Use Blush Stick in the shade Berry Bay. Like, hey, bay. I did make a mark on the cap, but I wasn't able to um, make another mark like that I used it enough. But there's the shade, and it's beautiful. I really enjoy this. I love the shade. I think it goes on nicely. It blends well. It did go down in weight from 19.81 to 19.77 grams. So it is making some movement. It's just, it's going to take a while. I'm not the fastest panner. I don't wear makeup every day. For Black Cat, Black Packaging Product or a Black-owned makeup brand, that's credit to Corey Stepp or something you feel lucky to own, credit to Zoe Redstone. This is both, kind of. I brought in this Natasha Denona My Dream Cheek Trio. I love this product. I have it in to use 24 times, and so far I've used it four. Let me give you a swatch of the blush, the cream blush. 
the Glow Cream Base, and then the Dream Glow Highlighter. This is so pretty. There they are. And I really wanted to get more use out of this, which is why I put it in for 24 uses. So I only got four so far, but that's okay. I'm using it and I'm really enjoying it. So that'll be sticking around for a lot longer. For boop, a product that you use on your nose. I always do that to Rosie. It's probably so super annoying to her. I mean, she can't talk, but I would, I would think it's annoying. That is the, I brought in the Westman Atelier. Is that attributed to anybody? A product you use on your nose, highlight, pore strips, contour, etc. I brought in the Westman Atelier Biscuit Contour Stick, and I did make a uh, mark on the cap. I wasn't able to make a mark anywhere lower, but my goal is to use this 24 times as well. And here's a swatch of it. It's such a beautiful contour. I love it. <coughs> and it shears out so nicely. I've used it seven of the 24 times. And I'm gonna say what I always say, I'm not mad that it's sticking around. For cat litter, something that makes a mess, credit to Lynn S. I pulled in my Peach Perfect Powder. This is a loose powder. I'm so sad that Too Faced discontinued this powder. But I was able to go from 17.24 grams to 17.02. I love this powder, it's so good. It still smells like peaches. I wish they still made it. I wish I had more. I don't. So I'm going to savor this one and use it as much as I can and use it up. And then I'm going to be sad. Jen did gift that to me and I love her for it. She knows I really loved it. So thank you, Jen. Um, catnip, an item that makes you lose your mind. For me, that is this Wet n Wild Hello Halo um, highlighter in the um, shade Halo Goodbye. I need to let this settle down, but I have a feeling I'm a little bit below that line because I have been using it quite a bit. And right now I can see that it's like down to the top of the script here, but I think it's lower. My goal is to get to the dot, which I put right here. It did wear off. So I just made a guess as to where I wanted to get to. This started off at 28.63 and now it's at 27.9, whoa, nine zero grams. I just dropped some on my hand. So I'm just gonna pick that up. And there it is. And it's a really pretty highlighter. It is a little bit blinding though. I, I usually put it on a little more sheer. It's beautiful though. It's beautiful. I just wish the sucker would end because I've had it for a million years, I feel like. I think I've been panning that for the three years that I've been panning. Catitude, a product you wear when you are feeling sassy or that you feel sassy when you wear it. For me, that's like a red lip, a bold lip. So I pulled in this PS liner and this was in the shade, I don't know what, because it doesn't say, but my goal was to finish it and I did, but that's because the pencil fell out. <coughs> so I could have used it a little bit more, but it did fall out, it fell on the floor and I wasn't about to use that on my eyes. So this is done, it's out and I'm okay with that, it's done. For Chihuahua, a product the beauty com uh, community can't stop yapping about. I pulled in the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and I haven't started using it yet because I'm still trying to finish up another um, finish or uh, another uh, setting spray. Oh my gosh, I kept thinking finishing spray. I'm like, it's not a finishing spray. Another setting spray. spray. For Corgi, butt wiggles, a gel product or something that jiggles, I took my Kinky Curly Original Curling Custard, it's a gel, and I took it out of this container and I put it in this and I diluted it. First of all, I don't like tubs of product. I don't wanna have to stick my fingers in here, use it, ugh, gross. Second of all, it was too thick for me. Um, I have really fine hair, so when I was wearing it curly, it would just be too thick, so I watered it down and I put it in this container. And it started off at 224.36 grams, and it's now at 215.32 grams. <clears throat> I wasn't really using it a ton until I recently finished another hair care item I was using, and now this is going to be my focus. So we'll see how long it takes to finish. It's an okay gel. I wouldn't repurpose, repurchase it. I like my, I like the, the combing cream that comes in this bottle much better. 
for German Shepherd, a guard dog or protector, an item that protects your makeup, like an SPF, a primer, a setting spray, etc. I pulled in this pipette. SPF and it was all the way up here when I started it was expired so I decided to just use it as a moisturizer and that worked well for me so I did finish this and it is now out of this project for harness a product you have to stop yourself from using because you love it so much credit to me I made up this prompt <laughs> I pulled in my NYX fat oil because I love a lip gloss and I thought I loved this one like the most, but I'm gonna talk a little bit about that. I was able to use almost half of this. It's probably about half right there. And it's okay. I'm really bummed out that I don't like it more. Here's the deal. I do like it upon application. It is a thicker gloss and that's okay with me. However, as I wear it, it gets sticky and it leaves like a sticky film on my lips and I don't like that. So I will use it up. I was anticipating that I would repurchase this over and over and now I know I will not. So at least I know that and um, I'm getting good use out of it. I will finish it probably in another couple of months, maybe two. Um, I rotate it with another um, gloss that I'm gonna talk about in a minute, but I wouldn't repurchase it. For Husky, they are loud talkers, a loud product, bold color, or loud packaging. This is also credit to Taru at Cruelty Free Panner. And I decided to bring in my Sephora Cobalt Blue Liner. Oh my God, I love this. And wear it 12 times. So far, I've worn it four. This is such a fun color. I'm actually wearing it today, I think. Yeah. And I love this as like I have my neutral look on with this pop of blue. I think it looks really nice with my hazel eyes. So obviously I'm going to keep wearing this and I'm going to keep loving it and I will repurchase it when it's done. This is waterproof, but it comes off nicely. It, it, it goes on beautifully. This gel whatever it's matte I don't know but whatever formula this is from I love it this Sephora formula is wonderful for ID tags a product that starts with the first letter of your name I pulled in the alter ego shadow kiss eyeshadow palette because my first name starts with a k and my last name starts with an s shadow kiss so I brought it in for three uses, which three looks, which is what I normally do. I really enjoyed this. Deb um, decluttered this to me, and I'm really glad that I took her up on it, and it's beautiful. I enjoyed every minute of wearing it. All the shades that I used were beautiful. The look came out, the looks came out beautifully. They blended nicely. So I am thrilled to have this palette, and I will keep it in my collection and lovingly use it. Then for Labrador slash Golden Retriever, which are hunting dogs, a product you had to hunt down or was hard to find. This item was sold out everywhere for so long. And when I was in Vegas and I saw it, I snatched it up. It was the last one left. And I was like, oh my God, I finally got it. And it is this Dior Rosy Glow Blush in the shade Pink. You guys, this is like such a bright pink color. It doesn't even do it justice to see in the camera. You have to go see this in store. It is gorgeous. And I love it. It's this bubblegum candy pink. It's beautiful. And I love the way it looks on my cheeks. Um, it is such a pretty blush. I'm wearing it over another one today. But when I, even when I just wear it on its own, it's just gorgeous. I love it. I can't say enough about it. I have a goal to use it 12 times, and I've already used it three. And I wish I could use it more, but I do need to rotate through other items as well. For litter box, an item that you wish your cat would bury in their litter box, I have in my ColourPop mini foundation, but I have not used it yet. Long-haired cat, favorite hair product. Oh my gosh, I brought in this IGK First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo, and I love this. This is my favorite dry shampoo ever. I do shampoo my hair at night, so it's nice to just throw this in even before bed or in the morning, let it soak up the oils while I sleep, and then in the morning, my hair looks fresh, and it, it's great all day. This did go from 276.3 to 180.99 grams, so I think it's about halfway gone, so I will have to buy another one. That'll be gone 
within this project for sure. Poop bags, something you always run out of at the worst time. And that for me are retractable liners. If you guys know anything about liners, the ones that retract, it just seems like you run out of them at the worst point because you don't always think to like roll it all the way up to see how much you have left before you throw it in your bag. So this is the Sephora Slate Gray Eyeliner. It's the same formula as the Cobalt Blue one. It just, the color is different and it's beautiful. I love it. It's right there next to the blue one. It's gorgeous. I have it in to use 12 times and I've used it twice. I mean, I used it a lot before this. Same thing with the blue one, but for this project, I've only used it twice. For Poodle, a product that makes you feel high maintenance, a bougie item in your collection. I pulled in my Ritual Defeat Thorn Oil because this was a pricey product, but I love this. This is something that I put on right away before I start even doing my makeup. It's my first step and I even I either use this or I use my Bobbi Brown face base. I decided to mark it because I haven't been marking it so I want to kind of see marks on how much I use. My goal is to finish this. It went from 125.39 grams to 123.74. So I, I mean I have made progress. Um, but I want to have some measurable progress, so that's why I put a line on it, so I can see how much I used the last time. Pug! They're so cute. An item with cute packaging, and I thought this Holofrog Tashmu Water Lily Milky Wash was cute. I thought it was a cute little cleanser product, but I don't really like it. It's, it's milky for sure. It does not suds up at all, which I'm usually okay for, okay with, but... I feel like it leaves a little bit of a film on my skin. I don't think it rinses cleanly away, so I always feel like I need to go in with something else. And I'm like, I don't wanna declutter this, but like, I don't really wanna use it either. But I am, I'm rotating this with other cleansers that I'm using and I will finish it, but it's not my favorite. It went from 182.68 to 172.02 grams. I'm getting use on it, but it is not my favorite. I wonder if I could use it as like a first cleanse to get my makeup off and then go in with another cleanser. I'm gonna try that. Gee, Kim, you come up with the best ideas. Thanks, Kim. Scooby-Doo, a mystery item, an item that came in a mystery bag or an item you've never tried before. I decided to pull in this Egyptian Magic Cream. Have you guys ever heard of this stuff? Deb B was telling me about it when I had something going on with my skin. Oh, I had really itchy arms. And she was like, try this Egyptian magic cream. And she sent it to me. Oh my God, I love this stuff. It looks like Vaseline and it is a thicker product, but I don't know what's in this, but my skin is beautiful. My skin is so nice. I love this. I have a goal to finish this. I put a question mark. I don't know that I will, just only because there's so much product in here. And I am trying to use another sleeping mask and that's what I'm using this for. So this is like a last step, or you can use this if you have really dry elbows or like ears, like some people get like cracking in their ears. Um, it's gorgeous. I might try it as an eye cream to see if I like it that way, but I went from 29.38 to 27.26 grams, and I will buy this again. It's wonderful. I'm really enjoying it. So thank you, Deb, for sending it to me to try a little bit. She put it in this container so I could try some. I really like it, and you were right. She's going to be like, I told you so. <laughs> And then for scratching post, any nail product I had in to use my Nail Envy 24 times, I've used it zero. Service slash emotional support animal, something that's loyal, a product that never lets you down. That is my Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. Hello. <laughs> in the shade of fair medium. Oh my God, I love that. Or fair light. No, fair medium. Oh my God, I love this though. And I've tried the e.l.f. one. The shade is not the same at all, but it does work nicely. But I, I just love the Charlotte Tilbury one more. And I know that it's really expensive. And I don't care because I've been using this for a long, long time. I feel like when this is empty, I will have gotten my money's worth. And I would, re I would repurchase another one, even though it's fancy. I don't care. I love it. That went from, oh, I've used it nine times in this project. My goal is to finish it. And it went from 16.04 to 15.46 grams. 
Let's see. And the next one is an empty Sharpay, a skincare product that combats wrinkles. I brought in this Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. I finished it. I was really surprised that it didn't, it took me only these two months to finish this off. I mean, I thought I had about half of it left. So it is an empty. I'm happy about that. It was, it was a good eye cream. I would use it again. Would I repurchase it? I'm not sure yet. I have a couple others to get through. Uh, this is at the top of the list, but right now I'm using one from Well People, and I really like that one. Also, like I said, I wanted to try this Egyptian Magic Cream as an eye under eye balm, because if I can use it for that, then I can use it as a sleeping mask and the eye cream, and it's a two-in-one product for me eventually, so I have a lot of things to try. For Shih Tzu Maltese, something small that has a big impact, like a pigment highlight, etc., I pulled in this MAC paint pot in Born to Beam. This is absolutely gorgeous, but it is not what I thought it would be. But I also was applying it with a brush. So on my finger, I mean, that looks like a boom in your face. But when I put it on my eye, it does sheer out. It's a lighter color. It does not look like this because I used a brush when I applied it and using a brush sheared it out. So I couldn't just... Okay, as I was saying before my camera rudely cut me off, is that I had to pat it on and build it up. So I really still like the shade. I It just wasn't what I thought it was going to be. With that being said, I will still use it, but it is rolling out of this project because I hit the goal of using it the three times that I set it in here for. For St. Bernard's, something that rescues your makeup look, like a setting spray powder, topper, etc. I brought in my e.l.f. Coconut set, Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. I don't use this as a setting spray. I don't think it works that way, but I do use it as like a finishing spray. So I'll do all my powders. <clears throat> I'll do my powder. Okay. I'll do my cream products over my foundation, then I'll powder my face, then I'll spray this to like mesh it all together, and then I'll put on my powder products, like bronzer, blush, highlight, whatever, and then go over it with a setting spray. That's what I do. So, my goal is to finish this. It went from 79.5 grams to 70.31 grams. There's the difference there. For treats, something you purchase to treat yourself, I decided to pull in my Merit Lip Oil because when I was in Vegas, I did treat myself to this. I've wanted to try this product forever, and I'm so glad I did. This went from 28.26 to 27.66 grams, and I was able to make a jump, a pretty good one. Um, <clears throat> I probably made a little bit more progress than what that line shows, but there it is still it's clinging a little bit to the walls, so I wasn't able to mark it really accurately, but I'm using that in conjunction with the NYX fat oil and I would totally repurchase this. It is so hydrating. It is so, it feels so good on the lips. It does not get all crusty and cakey and gross. A 10 out of 10. This Merit Lip Oil is beautiful. And then last but not least, for Vet Bills, an expensive item. I pulled in my Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. I really enjoyed this. I got, I'm actually wearing it today a little bit. Um, I had a goal to use it for three looks and I really wanted to do like a green one But what I realized is this is a really neutral palette and before today I wouldn't have said that I would have been like, oh, it's such a nice grungy green palette. No, it isn't it is super neutral and You could wait you could do like a brown look a brown with a green touch a brown with a blue It's like a neutral with a pop of blue again, you know but it is beautiful and I do love it and I am not, it's, it's not going anywhere. So I'm going to continue to use it and love it, but it's not what I thought it was. I know I had used it a while ago and I forgot about what I thought of it. And so now I'm like, okay, I like it, but it's not exactly what I thought it was. So I have to stop thinking of this in my head as a green palette. And I think partially I would do that because the outer packaging is like a green. So I just kind of went with that. So yeah, that's my update for the Panning Cats and Dogs Project Pan. I have all the prompts in at this point. So see that Born to Beam, it doesn't go anywhere either. I'm trying to scrub it off with this and it's not coming off. It's a really, it's a really good product. I love the paint pots. They're, they're wonderful. So I've gotten through, there were 30 prompts in here. I've gotten through one, two, three, four, five, six, 
Um, seven. Seven items so far in these two months. I'm thrilled with that. So yeah, thank you so much guys for watching and giving me some of your time. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are and I will talk to you soon. Bye!